Oh. Oh. Yeah! I can't wait to bring you to the new house, big girl. Your enclosure's coming soon. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show that. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, dude, there's so many. Just look at how many babies are on it. So I just took Papa Bear out of the tank. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. We're here at the PC Farm, the original, the OG PC Farm, where Gary is located. Hi, Gary. Almost done, soon, very soon. Lots of these ducks are coming with us to the new house. It looks good back here. Is that a tent? That's, that's a, that's a tent. <laughs> what is that thing? Today's video is not only possible without you watching, but also our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Ritual. Do you have a perfect diet day in and day out? Well, me neither. Ritual helps people fill those gaps in their diet with no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. These two easy to take capsules provide 10 nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. You know, I've only heard good things about Ritual. Then I tried it for myself and it's weird to say, but I actually like the taste of these things. I don't know why, I know it's weird, okay? Ritual is a brand I trust because you could trace the decision making process behind each of their ingredients. From where they source their nutrients and why to their environmental impact. They're also very transparent transparent about their packaging and materials. They use 100% recycled material. And then the mailers are made up of recycled newsprint and plant fibers. They even use plant-based ink. Ritual is the obsessively researched and transparently made multivitamin on the market. Their delayed release capsule design is gentle on an empty stomach. Ritual has vitamins for everyone. And hear me out. Vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and contains no added sugar. And you know the best part about Ritual it is a delivered to your door subscription. It's only $1 a day to have 10 quality nutrients that your body needs. It's delivered straight to your door, hassle free every single month, no strings attached, no extra charge. Ritual doesn't just have vitamins, they also have this, the new essential protein. These daily shakes are designed to support maintenance of lean muscle mass and to promote healthy active aging for everyone, not just athletes. Now fill the gaps in your diet with essential for men. Ritual is offering you 20% off using my link, ritual.com slash Paul20. Go check it out. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Promo code Paul20 at ritual.com slash Paul20. These things not only make you feel good, but they also taste good. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding about that. I'm, I'm from for real. Without further ado, let's get on with the rest of today's video. Thanks again, Ritual, for sponsoring it. Hey. Hey. I can't wait to bring you to the new house, big girl. Your enclosure's coming soon. And same with you, Mango. It's coming. It is beautiful outside. Is Boots going to do it for us? Is he? Yeah, a little one, but he did it. Hey, guys. Hey. What's going on, little baby? We got Oscar. Emmy, Mama Goat over here. It's crazy over here with grass. It looks amazing. The grass is actually settled in now. It's all green. It is all green. No more mud pit. All green. Everyone's sleeping. Dude, they're loving this weather. They're like soaking it up. Hi. They're all waking up now. Here everyone is. And the hogs, of course. Some of them are sleeping up in there. Come on out. Um, How did you get here? No, did you see that thing? What? Thick, big and oh my gosh, I forgot to show that. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Brenton, wait, how'd you get here? I drove. He's crazy. Okay, anyway. It's finished. I didn't even show it. It looks amazing. Holy moly. Last time we were here, Hector was here building this for the alpacas and stuff that they're getting for this enclosure. And holy moly, this thing is huge. Wow, that's big. It's a full-on house, built just like the ones we've built. Beautiful. Looks great. Let's go feed the Paku. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look at how beautiful this pond looks. Come on. I don't think they're here anymore. No, it's... I'm actually oh, surprised you said they were rolling because it is cold out. They were, they were moving. No, no, come on. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah, there is no Paku to be seen right now. The weather is too cold. It's like 70 degrees, and once it's anywhere close to that, the Paku just goes super low to the bottom and don't come up at all. There is a trampoline, though. Yeah. 
Kevin, what up, Kev? Let's give Gary a nice scoop. There you go. Yeah, does that feel good to get a nice yeet in? After the farm, I headed over to the fish room where I then discovered that my blue crayfish had about 100 babies. I'm gonna roll right into the iPhone footage. I obviously did not have my camera because I was not expecting this. Dude. They're all, all alive. Like moving. Like like little <laughs> tiny, little, little tiny ants. Trying to get a good focus on them. Wow, dude, there's so many. I think I'm gonna take these other two out because I want them to survive. So I just took Papa Bear out of the tank. Look at the size of him. This is the dad right here. I'm gonna put him in a separate tank for now because the problem I've always had with these crawfish, I never really cared to breed them, but now that I just caught the mom pregnant, let please. go, let go. Stop it. I never really cared to breed these crawfish until now where I just saw all the babies and they're so tiny that if I was to leave the dad in there, the mom might even eat someone if they could start crawling around. I gotta get this one last little baby out of here too. This guy, this, this little baby is the one out of every baby that didn't get eaten from the last batch. And he's a little tiny. Look how tiny. Look how small he is. And I wanna start breeding these a lot more because I think they're awesome. So I'm gonna put him in with the dad over here. Since that's actually legitimately his dad. They're good in there. And then mom now has its tank to itself. So if mom chooses to eat her babies, I can't do anything about that. You can see all the babies inside there. Just look at how many babies are on it. Where do you see oh, just, just literally flying around the boat. Look at them rolling. They're literally rolling with the piece of shrimp I put in there the other day. They're micro. I have to use my phone because I can't zoom in close enough with my camera. I wish I could literally like show you what I'm seeing. You can see them so well. Oh my gosh, that's the craziest thing ever. I think they'll all be blue, at least 90% of them. And speaking of babies, we just had a bunch of baby cichlids too. You can see that one of them is right there. There's another one. Babies everywhere in the fish room. He's literally, he's hovering, he's moving around. But they, they're so tiny that the water movement, I might have to take the aerator out. I'm gonna take this aerator out of here. So aerator is out. Now the goal is to get the water filled up so this pressure going in the water isn't as hard. Tommy comes to clean all the aquariums. Every single aquarium in the fish room gets cleaned tomorrow. All of these, you'll see the glass is dirty. Everything gets cleaned tomorrow and all the waters get filled up tomorrow. The mantis shrimp just molted. That means it's growing. He's doing great. My mangroves are also doing great. I know you, I update you guys on my plants. I've been growing these suckers for something in the future here. You'll see that soon. Probably a year from now, but those plants will be used later on. What are you doing, Nick? Oh my god! Oh! That's my albino! He bit me! He started it! He bit you? Yeah, he did. He turned his head around and bit him. So this is the tank that the crayfish are in for now. Oh, that looks a lot better. Why didn't I have that on the whole time filming the babies on the bottom? There's so many. It's incredible. You guys saw the lump sum of them just hanging onto the old shrimp that was floating around in there for the crayfish that I put in there yesterday. I put this plant like sideways so they had something like hang on to and hide in and then I obviously fixed up that, buried it. These crayfish are in here with just the mom. Just the one big female and if you look behind you'll see her back there. She's, she's like making a little burrow. You can see her pushing all the substrate out to kind of back up into there. Look at the vibrant blue. I mean, they're so pretty. Love to see. And then the other two are in this tank that we put them, you know, last time. Yeah, the one baby and the male. The little one is right here. See that? Yep, my camera focus, perfect. He's hiding behind the sushi bar. And the little one is right here. This tank used to have beta fish in it, but unfortunately those passed like a couple months ago and I haven't ever replaced them since. Like I said though, this whole entire fish room is going to be cleaned out here tomorrow and it's gonna look absolutely amazing. I just uh, did not expect that. I was not planning on making today's video on that, but you know, things happen. Mama, I wish you luck back there. Uh, you have no longer your husband and your other stepson to eat anything. So hopefully everything survives. I'll turn this off so it don't bother you. I'm actually super stoked about this because the last time we had crayfish was like years ago. That was the last time I've had crayfish. It's been a solid couple years. And these are those crayfish now grown up and reproducing again. And Taylor looks to be cleaning my saltwater tank before Tommy comes. Tommy will appreciate that. <gasps> no! So 
Pharaohs, we have baby crayfish joining the family. In today's video, you got to see that. I can't wait to see these baby blue crayfish grow and become bigger blue crayfish to maybe give away to you guys for your aquariums one day here soon. Once we open up that big 1400 square foot fish room, it's going to be much bigger than this. Once we do that, I'm going to be having so many fish constantly coming in to these big aquariums. Hopefully, does that give you any hint on what I might have in mind? I don't know. Comment if you think you know what I'm talking about. The mom went right back in the rock, all tucked in, going to sleep. Let's turn the lights off. Good night, mama. Thanks to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, I will see you here in the next one.